Hello everyone, I'm Iron Phoenix and welcome to Industrial Craft 2. This is not a tutorial, just a note. This is more of a rough guide to what's been going on in the last few builds. So, uh, let's start with the, the reactor. I'll do some power generation stuff first of all. So this is the new reactor block uh, that I showcased in one of my other videos. It's just had a UI change and the multi-block does sort of operate uh, as you would expect. You can have multiple hatches, you can have multiple fluid ports, you can even have multiple redstone ports. If the multi-block is not complete and you interact with the hatch, it will just show you the nuclear reactor um, interface. Um, but as soon as it is complete, it will show you the correct interface. Um, and it works exactly as it used to do. Uh, right. Um, uh, no, uh, we're, we're on power generation. So this is the other side of the reactor thing. Now I'm not completely sure how this is meant to work specifically. I've, I can uh, link them all up and I can get a basic result out of it but I can't seem to actually make this generate steam. So we have a steam generator, a kinetic steam generator and a kinetic generator here. This is hooked up to, a, to your bog standard pump with a um, fluid ejector upgrade in it. So that's putting water into the steam generator. The steam generator should theoretically make steam when hooked up to heat. Now I do have heat attached but for some reason I can't get it to uh, go hotter than 25 degrees. Um, I'm not completely sure why that might be. It's always possible that I'm not using, I'm not able to generate enough heat. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to have a play around with it um, and see if I can work out quite what's going on there. But the way that it should work is your steam generator is hooked to the kinetic steam generator. This will turn steam into rotational energy which you can then use with a kinetic generator to generate um, some kind of EU output. Right, um, the, let's do the let's do these first. So remember this one. This was your windmill. You put um, you could have a battery in there, or you could hit, hit, hook it up to some kind of um, uh, storage module. This has changed, so we now have this. Now this seems to be uh, still in the process of being balanced. Um, because it only seems to work properly when it's raining. As you can see, the rotors will turn. You can't collide with these rotors, so don't worry about uh, knocking into them. They don't have a collision mesh or anything. You can just fly straight through them. Uh, right, so your kinetic wind generator. This is what this, the, the windmill has turned into. You have a few different rotors. You've got a wood rotor, you have an iron rotor, uh, a steel rotor and a carbon rotor and they go in that slot there. Uh, when you get wind you get rotational energy which is then put into a kinetic generator uh, which can then be used to charge back boxes or batteries or you know, you know sent down into, uh, into your grid. Turn the rain off because that doesn't seem to be working properly. Not completely sure if that's working as designed yet. No, we'll have to wait and see quite what goes on there. Uh, right, the last three blocks of which one of which I know what it does. So remember the refined steel ingot. It's back. It went away for a little while and it's back and you make it in the blast furnace. So what you do is you it's a heat it needs to be heated. So let's get out our old friend the radioisotopic heat generator and let's throw in some pellets. Let's just throw in a pellet for the matter. Uh, right, so that's now going to make some heat. We also need some air cells. Now these can be made by putting 
um, compressed air, so air cells in a compressor and you get comp compressed air out. You need six cells in order for it to run. You then need to add some iron. And this will should start to heat up. Maybe I need some more pellets. As you can see, it is now heating up. When that's hot, it will start to make uh, refined steel ingots. And it will also um, have as a byproduct slag. Now, I don't know what the slag does yet. Hey, it's it's early days. Um, right, before I do those two blocks, I will also do the charge pads. So, the charge pads, you've got a tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, and tier 4 version of them. Um, stand on top of them, you get blue. Um, sort of particle effects and uh, it sort of lights up blue and it will charge any items of the correct tier that are in your inventory so t say we have a drill mining drill you can see that that's now charging the drill very sl um, slowly it's, it's used what, what was in its, uh, in its buffer and now it's just charging the drill I am also wearing a quantum suit helmet and you can see that that one isn't charging. That's because, of course, the quantum suit helmet is a tier 4 item. So we need to charge it on a tier 4, four uh, charge pad. So it is very, very much based on uh, which tier you're, uh, you're wearing or which tier tiered items you're having and which tier you're standing on. You do actually need to be standing on the charge pad for it to actually for, for it to do anything, but it does have a reasonable buffer in it. It's just an MFSU, pretty much with a charge pad on top. Now for the two items, which I have absolutely no idea what they do. We have here the condenser. Now, a condenser in the real world is used to turn gas back into a liquid. Presumably, they've got some ideas for what's going to be going on here. Possibly, it's to turn steam back into water not completely sure uh, what's going on with that one yet the other item is the fluid regulator again no idea now I would assume it would regulate the fluids um, that are passing through it but I, I don't know um, presumably these two items are for our infrastructure for uh, systems that aren't currently in the game yet and that's industrial craft, and I don't think I've missed anything. Um, let me just have a quick sift through, just to make sure that there's no nasty surprises in here. I don't think there are. No, it doesn't look that, look that way. Um, no. No, no nasty surprises. It's all good. So, yeah, that's Industrial Craft 2 as it stands. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? I do like the the new windmills. It kind of gives a little bit more of a, uh, a realistic vibe to it. Um, and the reactors as well. Um, I think that, that those could be quite fun to play with. So, yeah. That has been Industrial Craft 2 for build. Oh, I should just get the build number. Um, it's 1 5. Uh, 5 3 4. So that's build 5 3 4. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.